Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very, very happy birthday to you guys. I do want to apologize for getting this out late. I mean, it's March 2nd when I'm recording this. So, um, I, and I feel especially bad because it's your birthday season and I'm behind. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. But if you are new to my channel, then you don't know that I've kind of been sick over the past few weeks. So that's why things are a little bit behind. And so I just want to say a very, I'm a very big, I'm so sorry to all the Pisces out there for getting this out late during your season. But anyway, here we are. March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to all of those who are returning and welcome to those of you that are new. Just gonna get straight into it. Um, if you would like to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations, and then um, I'm on in, I'm on Facebook as well, uh, uh, Divine Conversations 2711. The links for those are in the description box below. So we're just gonna get into this, guys. And actually, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Other than the fact that you know I'm recording this so that you can see me this time, um, I'm going to start with your oracle card. I'm gonna pull an oracle card for your month to get a theme for your month, and then we're gonna go into the freestyle reading that I normally do, the spread um, with the Golden Universal Tarot as usual. Yeah, so let's get started, guys. Hi there, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Pisces for March 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Pisces, so let's get into it. Also, if you guys were interested in getting a reading with me, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below, along with all of the readings that I offer, yeah? It's all right. For my Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, we are in March. Uh, we're coming up on spring. I'm super excited about it. I'm so over winter. Um, and it's your birthday season. So again, happy birthday to the Pisces out there as far as Western astrology is concerned. So let's, let's see what we have for you guys. Pisces, for the month of March, your theme, there we go, intuition. Okay. Um, where did I put? Oh, there it is. All right. So your theme this month is intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Now, Pisces, you're a very, um, you're a very sensitive individual okay and being the last of the zodiac i mean you do have a quite a unique perspective on things um for some of you you're getting you're getting in touch well I, I i kind of feel like this is a general message um for just the season of pisces is what i'm feeling is just for everybody not just necessarily just for you guys specifically um but there is definitely a chance an opportunity for um, most, if not all of you, to um, really get in tune with your intuition, to develop your intuition a little bit more, to uh, become stronger in your intuit intuitive ability abilities. This is a time where uh, intuition is 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 heightened. Um, but for some of you, I'm getting specifically that you really need to listen to your intuition. It may be a situation in which, you know, you, you've been getting messages, you've been getting signs, synchronicities about something. And I feel like some of you are just ignoring it. And this has to do, I really feel like this has to do with um, making some big shift, some big change in your lives. Some of you could be trying to um, adjust your career or change the way you um, you associate or, or relate with people, change your relationship dynamics. I, I don't know what it is specifically. For some of you, this is a job. For others of you, this is um, a friend circle, but there, your intuition has been kind of almost screaming at you to say, you know, pay attention, look at these things. There have been some red flags that were coming up maybe that you've been ignoring. And I feel like it's a lot about, um, it has a lot to do with that Piscean energy of that unconditional love and, you know, wanting to see the best in people. But uh, what you need to understand about that is you could, you probably do see the best in a lot of people, but if they're not willing to express themselves from that point, 
from that place, if they're not willing to at least explore that, look at that, you know, listen to you when you're trying to, you know, help them discover some of the deeper parts of themselves. If they don't want to explore that, you can't make them. And it's a disservice to yourself. It's also a disservice to them to enable them. Okay, I do, I do feel like there's some enabling going on here for some of you. All right. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Pisces. And then we'll see what the reading has for you this month. Yeah. Okay, here we go. For Pisces, boop, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Overall energy for you, Pisces, four of swords, meditate, listen <laughs> listen to your intuition okay you got to you got to take a break you got to stop you got to meditate you maybe you might want to go into a little bit of a hermit mode here you already may be um on your way there to be honest uh but it, this is this is needing to meditate and clear your mind and really put yourself in a state so that you can hear what your intuition what your higher self what the universe is trying to say okay you have the sun here all right, with the Two of Cups and the King of Swords. Okay, so um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. Um, there's some, yeah, there's a relationship here. There's a relationship here that the universe is trying to illuminate for you. There's illumination coming into the situation. And this feels a little weird because the sun is here. So you might want to initially, you might want to say, oh, well, you know, everything's coming up roses. Everything is great. Blah, blah, blah. Well, your intuition has been trying to trying to illuminate something for you or the universe is trying to illuminate something to you. And it has to do with some sort of relationship. OK, this could be a soulmate. This could be a friendship. But um, there's something toxic here. There's something toxic here. And you're needing to take a step back with this King of Swords energy. Now, this could be this could be that person that you're dealing with. It could be an Aquarian or it could be someone that's extremely logically based. Um, it might be uh, I feel like someone might be a little bit abusive, maybe a little bit mentally manipulative. Um, Maybe someone that's not quite truthful about things. I'm not reading reversals, so, uh, and this is a general reading, guys, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But there is a, 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 either this is the person that you're dealing with. Again, they could be an air sign, or it's someone that is maybe a little really difficult to deal with, or is super logical and is really not into the emotional or the intuitive side of things. Or this could be the energy, or the, yeah, the energy that you need to adopt, Pisces. Or some, or if this is, if you're a cross watcher for watching for a Pisces and your intuition has been trying to tell you something about this person, you need to be objective and see things as they truly are, not the way you necessarily may want them to be. Okay. So let's get into the first set of energies for you, the surrounding energies for you, for your first half of the month, first set of surrounding energies. You have the Knight of Wands here. So you could, you really could be dealing with someone who is super wishy-washy, just in out, in for a good time, um, in one minute, out the next, um, you know, is back and forth, can't really decide. Um, and you just keep giving them the benefit of the doubt and, you have to pull back from that because if, if that's that's draining that's really really draining and i i i just yeah <laughs> knight of wands is coupled with ah there you go the eight of cups needing to walk away from this need and i understand this for some of you you feel like you really do love this person you have a great deep aff affinity for them you have deep appreciation for them and that's fantastic there is nothing wrong with that but you're giving them too much slack you're giving them way too much leeway someone is getting way too much leeway here and you need to just walk away from this energy because it's draining you okay second set of surrounding energies for you pisces you've got the empress could be a taurus could be an aries um could be a divine feminine for some of you there's a fear of walking away from this situation for for uh, uh, because of a fear of lack feeling like this person might be the end all be all or that there isn't anyone out there that may get you the way that this might this person may say they do or the way that they actually do you may not be able to find a connection like this again 
That's not the case, Pisces. There are plenty of fish in the sea, the Empress. And if this situation is toxic, it's not something that you really need to stay in. You don't have to force yourself to be in this energy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The, 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 the energies of the Empress also is speaking to uh, the uh, nurturing aspects, um, the motherly aspects uh, of you, the caring and compassionate energies. I, I just, I feel like this is you right now. Pisces, because the the not so good side about the Empress is that she loves her children so much and so unconditionally or her family members or whoever she's connected with that she can be either a, a helicopter mom or a smother or a smother mother, a smother or an, an enabler. And I'm feeling that kind of energy here, enabling somebody. I mean, it could even it could even potentially be yourself. You know, you're kind of enabling yourself to continue this toxic cycle. Okay, the Empress is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles here. I'm really just getting an energy of you need to step back. You need to take a step back and number one, either let this person do what it is they're going to do on their own love them from afar love them unconditionally but love them from afar and let them do their own work because again there's an enabling energy here and i feel like it's almost like you're you're trying to do the work for them it's like this i'm seeing a scenario in which you have um, a, a parent who who has allowed their child to get away with things and now they find themselves doing their child's homework for them that kind of situation that's just a hypothetical way of saying it, but that's the scenario I was given here. And also, you need to allow yourself the space, the time, the energy, the love, the nurturance to work on your own life. To work, I, I feel like some of you have some project that you, that you may have wanted to pursue, but maybe this relationship is taking up too much of your time and your energy. And if it's not that, you need you need to give yourself the abundance of love and affection and support to work on yourself or work on your own thing for your life. I mean, you have two eights here. You have the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles. This is abundance, especially with the empress. This is a lot of abundance here, Pisces. So you need to allow yourself, give yourself that time, that space and that energy you know, that you, the love and the care that you give this other person, giving this other person the benef benefit of the doubt all the time, give that to yourself. You deserve it, right? Your current challenge in the first set here, you have the high priestess, your intuition. Now, the other thing the high priestess is saying is that all is not lost here. This is actually all a part of the plan. You haven't really done anything wrong. There is a lesson to be learned here. Okay, it's a really deep lesson. And the high priestess is here to usher that knowledge in. And it's also the challenge here is listening to your intuition because your intuition has been trying to tell you this the whole time. But you just keep giving this person the benefit of the doubt. And it doesn't even have to be a single person. It can be a group of people. It can be a business partnership. It can it, it could be really anything. But you're pushing yourself aside in order to 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 benefit these other people when i don't necessarily feel like they deserve it or at least they don't deserve as much as you're giving them to warrant you over giving to them and not giving back to yourself that kind of situation okay the high priestess in your current challenge is coupled with the star you see you see another more by the way more aquarian energy how but you also could be dealing with a Sagittarius with this Knight of Wands here. But look, there is a lesson here, okay? There is healing here. This is happening. Uh, first of all, you are on the right path. <coughs> Excuse me. You're on the right path, all right? This is absolute, absolutely supposed to be happening. Why? To teach you to, in essence, stand up to yourself, I guess. Also, to listen to your intuition. There is healing. This actually has... For some of you, this has roots in um, uh, past lives, okay? So it, it could even be uh, uh, ancestral, all right? 
But there's some very, very deep healing that's happening here. Closing message or potential outcome in your uh, in the beginning of your month here for this message, you have the Ace of Wands. Excellent. So inspiration towards moving in a new direction. And I really feel like that inspiration is then being put into yourself. So if so, that could be the potential outcome in the fact that you do start listening to your intuition and that inspires you to keep your the ball rolling in your own favor. Or the message here is you need to become inspired within and of yourself. Okay. There is inspiration coming forward for you to move in a new direction and give yourself the benefit of the doubt, all right? Ace of Wands is coupled with the Hermit. Inspiration, inner light, walking a path of solitude even, going into a little bit of a Hermit mode here. And so the, 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 the closing message really is you need to go within and do some soul searching so that you can understand yourself better you can find more of that inner light and you can allow it to shine okay you also could be dealing with a virgo all right so for the second half of your month first set of surrounding energies you have the seven of swords but here this really feels like deception coming to light okay let's see what the next card is the seven of swords is coupled with the Page of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces. Um, Self-deception. This is also somebody that's uh, a bit emotionally manipulative. Look out, okay? Because if you really start following this advice and start doing something about this, you could, this, this person that you're dealing with, the people that you're dealing with, the circumstance, whatever, could really start to fight back and try to manipulate your emotions. Um, I do feel like this person knows how to get under your skin or this circumstance knows, has a way of getting under your skin, of manipulating you emotionally to keep you in the same circumstances. Be aware of that. Especially if you're really like changing like if you're if you're turning the tables here and taking your power back in a sense and not really giving someone the benefit of the doubt, I do feel like someone could be trying to shame or guilt you into continuing the charade. Keep a close eye on that awareness. Uh, yeah, awareness, especially since your intuition has been saying this to you. You could potentially really start to make these changes and then all of a sudden some this person or these people or whatever, the circumstances at play, they start to exhibit certain proof of what your intuition has been saying to you, right? Second set of surrounding energies for the upcoming energies for the second half of the month for you, you have the nine of pentacles. Someone could be coming single stepping out on your own. And I really do feel like if if the, if you start taking these steps to make a change in your life and this person starts acting in a manipulative way to keep you in that old paradigm, it's going to be proof to you that your intuition has been right all along. And so that's going to leave you with a good amount of confidence. All right? Standing on your own, being able to be independent and trust yourself. Okay? But also there could be a breakup coming. Nine of Pentacles. Someone could be becoming single, and I'm and I'm feeling this as a victorious in a victorious way. So whether it's you Pisces or if you're a cross watcher for a Pisces, somebody whoever takes the action and steps out on their own and walks away from something. Eight of Cups here. Eight of Cups walks away, takes the action. It's gonna feel victorious. That's what I'm feeling from this card of this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Nine of Pentacles is coupled with strength. Strengthen yourself, knowledge, power, abundance, because this is another eight, you guys. You've got the eight of cups, you've got the eight of pentacles, and now you have the eighth card of the minor, major arcana, which is strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. And Leo did come out with the sun here, so that you really could be, some of you really could be dealing with a Leo energy, whether that's within your chart or this person that you're, you're connecting with, with um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, whatever. But I do feel like this, whether it's a Leo or not, well, if, it's, if it is a Leo, that's what I was thinking. If it is a Leo, they are very overpowering. They are very, they're very skillful at getting what they want. 
at saying what it is, saying and doing the exact right things to get exactly what they want from someone. Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. Emotionally manipulative, right? So that's going to be a victory in and of itself in, you know, getting past that. But also, I do feel like if whoever it is that actually does take this step and walks away from the situation is going to feel super, super victorious because of it. It's just going to feel strong and powerful. You will have overcome your fears, and that is really something to celebrate, okay? Your challenge in the, in the last half, second half of the month, you... Death. Transformation. Scorpio energy, but transformation. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But your challenge in the second half of the month is transforming. Taking this step. Going in a new direction. Walking away from the situation. Now, even though if you do take this step and you, you know, you break free from this situation, whether it's, you, you know, it's a romantic relationship and you end up breaking up or it's some sort of partnership, business, friendship, whatever, and you cut ties. Yes, you may feel victorious, but that doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing. OK, you're still going to be going through this transformation. I do feel like this is just like the, the first step. OK in a massive, major transformation for you that is really overarching and, and may even, um, uh, what's the, the phrase I'm looking for? It may even uh, cross over into many other pieces, parts in your life. Like for some of you, this could be a situation that once you make this change here, you may start to see your intuition may help you point out or figure or, 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 or become aware of other parts of your life where you have this similar type of energy, okay? Death is coupled with <laughs> the Nine of Cups. But satisfaction is going to come from, oh wow, from this transformation. And I want you to pay attention to this. In the first half of your month, you have the star with the High Priestess, okay? The star is about healing, but the star is also about wish fulfillment. In the second half of your month, in the same position, in the, your challenge, you have death with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is the other card in the deck of uh, a wish fulfillment. I think it's really time to start listening to your intuition, huh? <laughs> That's beautiful though, guys. It's really, really beautiful. Okay. Um, your closing message or potential outcome for the end of your month or the second half of your month, you got boop, the queen of wands. Now I do feel like either this is you Pisces or for the cross watcher that's dealing with a Pisces in which your intuition has been telling you that you need to step away from this situation. Um, this is for whoever is stepping away from this situation. Queen of Wands energy. I mean, magnetic, victorious, beautiful, social, um, a fun to be, is around, be around, charismatic, ma a, a magnetic, attractive, you know, just, and, and that's, and, and Back to this energies of the Empress or the abundance of the universe, um, the eights that keep coming out here between the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles and strength, which is the eight, eighth card of the major arcana. Um, you have the abundance to attract whatever it is you want into your life. It's really just about changing your vibration. To me, the, the queen of wands is the physical or, or, or uh, the physical embodiment uh, the physical representation in human form of the law of attraction because she is so magnetic that she really doesn't have to do much than sit there on her throne and just let whatever she desires come to her, right? This is the energy that you would be embodying should you really take this step to move away or move, at least move in the direction that your intuition has been trying to get you to move into, okay? Queen of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. I don't think this is a bad thing, you guys. I really don't. Because the two is a card of balance, yes? And um, what I'm kind of getting here is because this woman is blindfolded, right? Often this means that you're having trouble making a decision or you can't see enough to make a decision or you might be refusing to see what you need to see in order to make a decision. Um, 
And in the beginning of the reading, we were saying that you need to, you know, really tr work on seeing things as they truly are. So this either could be when you release the energies of the Two of Swords of indecisiveness, you will be able to really step into your power. Or should you at the end of this month be in your power, the Two of Swords in a positive way could be keeping your thoughts and your, your, yeah, your thoughts in balance and not allowing what you see in the physical world to affect that balance. So it would really be, especially with this two, with, with this woman being blindfolded, you could absolutely see that as this person is relying on her inner perception rather than her, rather than her outer perception, i.e. intuition. Yeah, yeah, in order to really keep balance and make decisions. That's the biggest thing that I see here for you guys. The fact that you will will be really allowing your intuition to really guide you moving forward should you take action here. Because I really do feel like if you do take action here in the way that your, your intuition has been guiding you to, um, there is going to be some serious validation. And it might be kind of scary and uh, scary in the sense that, you know, it'll freak you out a little bit because it's like, how the hell did I could I have ever picked that up? But that's how our intuition works, guys. And as Pisces, as Pisceans, you should know this already. Kind of, I guess I, 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 I should shouldn't whatever. It doesn't matter. But you probably do know this already. OK. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to email me if you would like a personal reading. All of the information is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great March. I love you so much. Happy birthday. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading in April. Yeah? Take care. Bye.